Good morning. Welcome to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 49. Build day 49. Uh, the guys are, as you can see, are already up on site working. Uh, removing the forms from yesterday's concrete uh, pours. Continuing with uh, the same scope of work where we're doing the additional lintel beams for uh, the Jack and Jill as well as uh, above the bay window uh, so they'll get that done today um, in the center of the house they're still working the um, support beams across uh, the living room and we're also putting in more fill material uh, throughout the house getting the the floor up to uh, just about to grade okay um, let's take a walk around see what everybody's doing said they're taking fill material taking it in throughout the house I believe currently they are working through the bottom of the pantry uh, slash stairwell take a look around see where mr. June's heading yep right to the back of the yep okay in the bedroom three area this area is just about done they are pulling the forms off of the concrete that they poured yesterday. They still have one more lentil beam to finish here. And then they'll bring that across the top of the, um, the top of the bay window. Mr. Jericho here is gonna put the, continue the block wall, the extension from here out to the edge of the bay window. That's what he's working on today. I believe up on top we saw Mr. Orland and crew continuing with uh, steel beams. They're doing all the rebar work up on top. So that's where all that's headed. Looks like they're going to extend the uh, the beam, or the, the posts, up a little bit higher. From the garage perspective, uh, we're still working beams, uh, rebar fabrication of the beams. And in the, over the maid suite, um, Mr. Justin is continuing the uh, hollow block walls above the lintel beam, uh, getting them up to uh, roof beam height. All right, let's go do a mid-morning progress check. Uh, see what's going on this morning. Still continuing in the garage area. Mr. Justin and Mr. June are working on hollow blocks above the lintel beam up to the roof beam height. So that's above the maid suite. back over on where did I see the other gentleman ah the two gentlemen you see here in the corner are working on the hollow block above the hallway half bath Let's see if I can get a better shot a little bit closer all right so they're still getting their scaffolding and all set up and they're working up there on the top. The gentleman you see down here in the front is Mr. June. He is also uh, helping with Pablo to bring in uh, additional fill material. They're making sure to get the uh, fill, the, the dirt areas inside the rooms up to floor height. <clears throat> and that'll be all compacted and wetted and compacted at a later point. Uh, before the concrete floors are poured. That may be another week or so away. <clears throat> Mr. Jericho and Rafi 
work in the bay window and the wall between the walk-in closet and the laboratory. <clears throat> and then, like I said, June and Pablo hauling fill material. Gentleman in the middle. Our erecting forms for where the beams are going to go across the top. This is the support beams. And they're also putting in forms around so that the, when they pour the, the support beam, the concrete drops inside the column and finishes that up. So this will all be one big piece of concrete. All be connected. Also got gentlemen in the middle. This is Mr. Wilson over here. Um, and they're getting ready to start working the support beam going this way. So going from the kitchen over to the, the large support beam that they erected yesterday for the um, attic, attic floor. <clears throat> Let's see if I can make it through here without getting So they are building forms at the top for the support beams. Working those. And again, the uh, getting the beams all in place. This uh, the scaffolding and stuff for the hallway half bath. Everything set. <clears throat> and over in the bunkhouse, Mr. Manny is helping out Mr. Orley get the larger uh, rebar beams or rebar rods uh, cut down to size where they need it uh, for fabricating the support beams that are going to go across the top of the kitchen area. All right, let's do a little post-lunch walk, post walk around. Mr. Justin's still working the uh, hollow block walls above the, above the maid's feet. What else are we working on? <clears throat> wow, they made some headway over here. <clears throat> Got some forms built. Looks like we. Forms going across the kitchen area, across the breakfast nook and kitchen. <clears throat> Go see where else we're at. <clears throat> Still working this area. Getting set for more rebar. Let's go see what the bay window looks like. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> They're building the lentil beam that's going to go across the top. It's going to go from corner to corner. The bay window will actually stick out further than that. So from this uh, lentil beam that they're putting up, it's going to go up three more, three more courses of hollow block and then the roof beam all the way across. So when they get done across this lentil beam will be the same height as this one. And then the roof beam will go across the top of here. All right, well, uh, I think it was inevitable. We have uh, come up to a point where we've had a bit of a setback. 
um, a minor misunderstanding. <clears throat> the finished ceiling height was supposed to be 12 foot uh, across the top of the great room area. Um, currently, the uh, construction that's been going on has set that finished ceiling height to uh, 10 feet, which would have been just the top of these uh, wood, wood forms here that they're starting to place, the braces, uh, because that would have been the bottom of uh, these beams as they come across the rooms. <clears throat> okay, uh, 12 foot actually puts it at the top of the rebar uh, support beams along the side. Um, At least we caught it this early. Um, we may be only losing about um, one to two days uh, for them to uh, remove the rebar support beams. Uh, hopefully they can do most of it uh, with it still being intact uh, to, a, to a small degree. Um, otherwise that's gonna take quite a bit of work. They've been working on these rebars uh, support beams for about the last three days, uh, last three construction days. So, big sigh, while we uh, raise the bar up a little higher to make sure that our finished ceiling height is 12 feet. All right, now that we've got the uh, front of the bay window and the lintel beam put into place, uh, they are pouring the column on the corner, the northeast corner of the house. So the, that column's getting poured now. Um, should be quick and easy. We'll uh, take a look at it tomorrow, see how it turns out. That means it's yabba dabba do time. Um, Kept busy today, very busy. Um, got a got blessed with a couple of mid-afternoon showers. Um, nothing heavy, just kind of a little bit light. Worked right on through it. So we had a, a, a small setback today, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, we'll deal with that tomorrow and talk about it with the engineer first thing. Uh, I believe we've already got a way ahead identified and uh, it shouldn't set us back more than a day at, at most. So that's the way we're looking at. Um, today's been a good day. We ended up getting the um, most of the bay window uh, taken care of up here in the front as well as <coughs> Mr. Justin was busy over there <laughs> with the hollow block wall above the maid's quarters. Um, See if you can see up here on top, the hallway half bath has almost gotten done. They've got about two and a half to three courses of block up on the top. And they are going up four, uh, three, I believe three courses only. So they're almost done with that. The bay window is coming along nicely. Much better than what it looked like uh, first thing this morning. And that about wraps us up for, for today, for Tuesday. If you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner or the Casa Texpina star right here and you'll be subscribed. If you'd like to know when our next video has been uploaded for your viewing pleasure, hit the little bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified. Until then, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.